Today we're gonna make two soups that are new to me that I'm really excited to try. Perfect for the nice cold weather. One is creamy potato soup with Italian sausage and a roasted parsnip and pear soup. One turned out better than the other. Not all recipes are hits. One of them is good, but it needs something else. So I definitely want your input on it and you'll know which one it is. And this video is a collaboration with Brittany over at Brittany's Beautiful Chaos. She is a stay-at-home mom to four. She shares vlogs and motherhood, cooking and cleaning, and she's really a joy to watch. Aprons on, let's go. So this recipe is creamy potato soup with Italian sausage. So you're gonna need a pound of Italian sausage one and one half pounds of either Yukon gold or russet or red potatoes and we're gonna cut those into one inch dices. You'll need olive oil and dry white wine but I am using white wine vinegar as a substitute. You can also use chicken broth to substitute dry white wine. You'll need some heavy whipping cream, can of diced tomatoes, can of chicken broth and beef broth. You basically need two cups of those. We're gonna be using some flour, some grated Parmesan cheese, some sprigs of thyme, some frozen spinach. We need to thaw that and drain it. We're gonna need onion and garlic, and of course, salt and pepper. Today I'll be making this soup in a Dutch oven. You can use a normal pot, um, but the recipe is saying this, and I'm like, hey, I have one of those. so. We are gonna cook in this today. Over medium high heat, we're gonna spray our pan with some cooking spray. And we're gonna add our sausage in. We're gonna break it down, start cooking it up. And as it's browning, I will get going on the garlic and the onion and get that all chopped up. We're gonna need one cup of finely diced onion. So we're gonna dice this up. I have definitely a cup here, but I'm gonna still do this one onion up and whatever leftover we have, we could just stick in the refrigerator or use on the other soups that I'm making. One tablespoon of chopped garlic or more. You can't go wrong with garlic. I'm probably not even gonna measure this, I'm just gonna chop up a few cloves and call it good. There was a time I didn't cook with garlic and I think, what was wrong with me? I was intimidated actually when we were first married when I was learning how to cook. I was intimidated using garlic and I don't know why, but I was. And now I'm glad I got over that because we put garlic in everything. So once that is all browned up, you're gonna add your diced onions and chopped garlic. And we're gonna let this cook for three to four minutes while that softens up. See all those bits at the bottom? That's gonna come up when we hit it with all the broths. That's where all the flavor is. Okay, now we're going to dice our potatoes into one inch dices. So I'm guessing with these red potatoes that a good cube is probably gonna be what I'm gonna do. All right, after the three to four minutes with the onion and the garlic, then add in your potatoes. And those will cook for another three to four minutes. We're also going to add some salt and pepper. And we'll let this go for three to four minutes. So if your sausage didn't make enough drippings and you need something down there, just add a little bit of olive oil and you're going to be good. I'm going to lower this though because it's a little too high. 
If you're using dry white wine, do that, but we're using the white wine vinegar. Because we need one half cup of dry white wine, we're gonna add a fourth cup of the white wine vinegar and a fourth cup of water. And then we'll use that to get up all the bits at the bottom of the pan. Mm. This smells so good. Okay, we're gonna drain our spinach to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this cheesecloth down and pour our spinach in. I'm gonna take our spinach, wrap it up in this cloth. I have a bowl here and I'm just going to squeeze all that out. and then open it up and you've got all that spinach to use in your recipe. I did things a little backwards like Kimmy does. So you add your flour in, then you put in your white wine so it th helps thicken it, but that's fine. So we're gonna get this in here, stir it up really good, cook out the flour, and then we're gonna add our chicken stocks and broths anyway, so I'm fine. Look at that, we got all those good bits at the bottom off, yum. We're gonna let this simmer and we're gonna have the cover slightly on and it's gonna cook for 20 to 25 minutes. All right, ever so often you wanna stir it so that the potatoes don't stick to the bottom. Oh, this smells so good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna gather all the potatoes out and we're gonna mash them up and then put them back in the soup. I wish you guys can smell this because it smells insane. It's okay if you grab any other bits of food. We'll just mash it up and get it back into the pot. Okay, the recipe says to grab one cup of the potatoes and mash them down. But I decided to take them all out and mash them down, not to a smooth consistency, just so they're in smaller chunks. Some are still kind of a big chunk, some are still mashed down. And then we're gonna add this now back to our soup. I did put in some more chicken stock because it cooked down a lot, evaporated a lot of it. So I probably put another cup um, or more in here. So now I'm gonna add my potatoes back in. We're gonna add our Parmesan cheese and three fourths cup of that heavy whipping cream. So when you add your cream in, let it cook for another 10 minutes. And then when that's done, you are ready to serve. When we're ready to serve it, we'll take out those twigs of thyme. And then after this just incorporates, taste it. If it needs more salt or pepper or something else that you can think of, add that in. Oh yeah, I'm glad I added more of that chicken stock in. Look at that, it's so pretty. When that's done, you are ready to serve. Okay, this is creamy potato Italian sausage soup. This is a hit, this is going in rotation. The flavor is amazing. Um, if you make something similar to this, what do you use, what do you do? But see, I still have some big chunks of potato and small chunks of potato. And that spinach is so good. I have a breadstick that I made earlier and that's what we're having with this soup. Next up is roasted parsnip and pear soup. So you'll need 10 parsnips. We're gonna trim and scrub those and cut them into one half inch circles. You'll need 20 to 30 sprigs of fresh thyme, four leeks, white and light green parts, and we're gonna slice those up. I was delivered only three, so we'll be using three leeks. Four Bartlett pears, 
We're gonna core and dice those. You'll need two bay leaves, eight cups of vegetable broth, six tablespoons of olive oil, some sea salt, and black pepper. Okay, with your 10 parsnips, you're gonna trim them, scrub them, and cut them into one half inch circles. Line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Add the parsnips. So we're gonna add some olive oil. Probably about three tablespoons or more. I don't know. It says, the recipe said six tablespoons divided. So that's my guess. And then your sea salt and black pepper to taste. This is gonna bake in a 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes until slightly browned and tender. Okay, we're gonna slice our leeks up and apparently we don't want that top part. What I'm gonna do is slice these up and then I'm gonna wash them because they're disgusting on the inside filled with dirt. And we'll do that in, with water in a strainer. You could see all the dirt that's in there. Like, look at this one. Yuck. So we're gonna get this in some water and let it soak for just a minute and get all the dirt off. Okay, we're gonna add this to our water. And this does, for this recipe, it doesn't matter how they're sliced up because everything's gonna end up getting pureed. So, with an immersion blender. So we'll let these soak for a minute, move them around, get all that dirt to go to the bottom, and then I'll grab some out and strain it. I'm just gonna see if I can core this with this. Oh yes, we'll be doing it this way. Awesome. So you are going to core and dice up your pears. Let's try to save some time with dicing. This way. Oh yeah, I am not using my knife. <laughs> We're gonna do it this way. To our pot over medium heat, we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. About two to three minutes, and then it says and it's supposed to get fragrant, so. And one half teaspoon of salt. Okay, we'll let this cook for a few minutes, and then we will add our roasted parsnips and stock and our seasonings. Add your parsnips in. Add your vegetable stock, which is eight cups, which is two 32 ounce boxes. Add your sprigs of thyme in, bay leaves. Then we're gonna bring this to a boil we're gonna cover this and let it reduce down and simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. Hey. Doesn't this look good? Look at that. All right, so we're gonna grab all our sprigs out and our bay leaves. So when this is done, what we're gonna do is 
blend it up. Now, if you have an immersion like I do, we're gonna use this. If you don't, just add it to your blender, spoon it in, and it'll do its job. But the recipe says, and I agree, this is piping hot, so be careful. And here you have it, roasted parsnip and pear soup. It isn't bad, you guys. It is earthy, and it has the tones of that. It needs something else in it, but I can't quite put my finger on it. You could even serve it up with some homemade croutons or just croutons. So, this is another soup for you. See, sometimes you get a hit, and sometimes you get a miss. <laughs> See, your apron can save your life. It's on the picture. It's all good. It's all good.